So before we before hiring even the first employee in Rubric, we actually wrote down our cultural context. And one of the most important aspect of our culture is transparency. Because if somebody comes in into a new institution and we want to build the foundation of an enduring institution, we need to generate trust through transparency. We need to align people in the same direction. Everybody has to understand why their work is related to the bigger outcome of the company. And to achieve that, we had to set an example. And what we did was we started doing open board meetings where every employee of the company was invited to board meetings. They could all see what are the opportunities and challenges of the company and how are we overcoming those challenges. So it really reduced the communication friction. It aligned everybody in the same direction. It, it removed the political things that are happen in organization where people actually gain political power by the by wielding control on information which we information. actually set yeah. free because everybody had the same information and that really set the trajectory of rubric that's the one of the top reasons for our success was this cultural context that enabled people to do their life's best work i love that you did this prior to, to hiring people because that way when when uh, leaders come in the organization, they know this is expected of you. And if you can't buy into a culture like that, for whatever reason, this is not the place for you. Uh, I find that remarkable uh, that you have that kind of transparency in the organization. See, the issue is that, again, uh, it's like launching a rocket. If you're a few degrees apart on the Earth, you're miles apart in the orbit. So at the okay. onset of, of the journey of the of building an institution, you have to set the framework because you can't just paint these cultural principles five years down the line on the walls and expect everybody to follow it. This yeah. is who you become as a company. The team, the, the culture that you set is the team you hire and the team you hire is the company you build as Vinod Khosla says it. It is so important to make sure that we all understand why are we here, what is the ultimate goal and, and who are we working for? And one of the things that we actually did through transparency was to ensure that everybody is thinking about not making their managers happy or me happy, but make the company happy. So everything was aligned to the success of this institution that we want to build, which is bigger than all of us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can imagine that some people come in the company and, and aren't able to, to live that mantra. And that you have to, you know, the, the other thing that you have to have are consequences right, for people who are unable to, to have the behaviors that that kind of culture demands. Absolutely. I mean, th there is nothing, there's no principles without cost, because if yeah. it was no cost, then anybody can have anything. Right. So, so the cost is that how do you ensure that everybody is aligned to it? Mm -hmm. And if somebody is misaligned to this or, or not the right fit in this culture, how do we ensure that we find the right solution for it? And, and we have been very, very firm on it from, from the very beginning that we want to create a cultural context and making sure that everybody who comes into, into rubric adheres to the cultural context and enhances it. Because mm -hmm. as founders, uh, four of us, we set that cultural context, but this company will last longer than our professional careers. So how do we ensure that there are people who, who joined the company, who has the ambition to not only take the culture, culture forward, but also continue to enhance it with the same principles. Yeah, I love that. As my, my friend and colleague, Dory Clark says, you're really looking at the long game uh, when you think about how is this gonna survive our careers. 